right now we are mounting the compressor just kind of got it held up with some zip ties but we're working with the line right now i'm going to have to remove this side of the box because i need some room for the shit for the line to go through because i've got very minimal space to go through and i gotta make sure i have enough room on the line if i don't go down low enough now i'm at the lowest position on the bike the tire is not at the lowest but when it comes back up that's actually going to bend more so I need to figure out where it's going to go, and I want to plan it all out. Because I'd really like to use that length on the line. It's pretty damn close. But, yeah, we're going to try and figure that out. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to hack the box. Well, I was working on the bike, and I stabbed my hand, so time to go to the ER. And we have arrived. Oh. And that be the hole. It's a decent one. That's an extra one. Don't need extra holes. And now they have the supplies to do the business. Ooh, look at all the goodies. Look at all the goodies. We are all bandaged up and ready to go again. Well, if uh, you can't see what's behind me, yeah, that's, uh, we got the hand fixed. Yeah, a couple uh, new holes I needed to put in my body. Evidently, I wanted to pierce my hand. All I did was lay the knife on the bike cutting a zip tie off, slid down the bike and went right into my hand and just stuck there. Hoy. So all of this happened because I set a pocket knife up here after cutting a zip tie down here and I had my hand down here and the knife literally tumbled, tumbled, hit off of there and right into my hands. And that's exactly why you should put the blade away on a knife when you freaking use it. Like, I'm an idiot. I just got my knife landed in my hand. But that's also why you have a very sharp knife. She was very proud of how clean the cut was and how easy it was to stitch up and said it was better than getting jabbed with a dull knife. So I guess there's that. I guess I have a little bit of win. Uh, we did get this removed, but we have a weird thing on the side of this air box. So hidden behind that little tool thing right there, there's some weird plastic D-lamb going on. I already dug this out. So that doesn't go all the way through, but that is a weird crack or D-lamp. So we're going to epoxy that back up because we don't want any secondary air getting into there that we don't control where the air comes in from. So that needs to be fixed. Because if not, that's just dirty air coming in the side. And it doesn't look like anything's been leaking, but that is definitely not good. But my, my hand hurts a bit, as you can figure. So we are going to call it for the day. I, I know. I <laughs> know. You wouldn't believe it, you stab yourself in the hand and you call it a day. I mean, I did get a lot done though today, so I'm not going to stay negative on myself and I still have a lot more things to accomplish, but it's personal stuff and I ain't going to do that tonight. I'm going to work on that and that's something I'm, not that I don't want to do it, or actually I really don't want to, but it's just not something I want to deal with at this moment. I think it's time, so I will see you guys tomorrow and I love you, so. See you tomorrow. Bye.